Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You dump it in there yet? No. Okay, so we started the filling process. Got the water going. Starting to scrub the sides with this big industrial brush and put in one packet of Clorox Pool Shock. So, I'm gonna let that do its thing. Put the filter on tonight when it gets full. Let's see where we are tomorrow. This is day one pool cleaning for the season. And we got black water. day two of pool cleaning and we have some progress today the pool is green day two oh it's cold out today it's only like 42 degrees okay so still can't see through it but it's definitely lighter and it's green so to change our filter here. Oh, I got a little bit too much water. So yesterday I spent a lot of time scrubbing it with a brush on the sides and we put three bags of shock in here so I've got the new filter in and we'll see how that does. I'm going to keep running the filter all day. Hopefully this will clear up some more. Day three of pool cleaning and we have light blue water. Mm, still pretty cloudy, but it is definitely not green anymore. We have a dark spot in the middle because I can't uh, reach it with my broom, but I definitely didn't think that this water was savable, but it looks so much better. So tonight I'm going to just keep running my filter and pump. We're gonna do another shock treatment and see where we're at tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be nice to crystal clear by the time we're ready to swim, right bud? Yep. 
Can I touch it? No, it's freezing cold. Hold this for me. Not over I don't the care pool. if it's freezing cold. Not over the pool, though. Don't hold it over the pool. What do we do now? I've been holding this camera for like two minutes. Okay. Used to record there. Yes. Okay, so we're adding. We're adding in. Boom. Two more bags of the shock extra blue six in one formula. And hopefully it'll be clear tomorrow. I feel like we're um in a witch show. back tomorrow um one more thing on day three i'm gonna do is kind of clean out my filter real quick this is gonna be freezing cold so it's gonna suck okay we're gonna get rid of all these little guys and then take this And then I'm going to, here, hold this. I agree. Spray off my filters. Nope, oh, just We're just going to spray these out to kind of get some of the gook out. So it'll filter better. I a lot of them. Yes. Thing. Zooming in. Oh, okay. Now let's see how clean we can get that. Make it white again. Just as brand new. And I usually spray my filters out a few times before I get new ones, just because I feel like they're kind of usable more than one time. I've been holding this camera for two minutes. Okay, you can shut it off. Okay. Bye. Day three is coming soon. Bye. Alright, so I was just talking through my whole video and it was on photo, so that's great. Okay, so this is day five of pool cleaning. Um, we have some clarity. You can start to see the squares on the bottom of the pattern of our liner. Um, on the bottom. There's still a couple dark clouds um, of sediment on the bottom. It's hard to see with this reflection. Uh, there's some uh, dark spots down there, which is just sediment from our these little burrs that fall off our tree. 
um, but it is a lot clearer. I just sprayed out our filter again. Um, still pretty cloudy, but now that you can see through it, you can definitely tell that it's getting clearer. So, um, so yeah. Uh, yesterday I didn't do very much. I got our um, heat cover out, sprayed that off and cleaned it up, put that on yesterday. I didn't do much yesterday besides uh, do the cover and I added more shock yesterday. But basically from here on out it's just going to be spray the filter out, keep scrubbing the sides. Um, I'm going to hook up the vacuum to get the rest of that sediment out probably tomorrow because it's supposed to be a pretty warm day but yeah I'll just um I'm gonna be doing all of that on repeat until we have crystal clear water and hopefully by the time it's warm enough to swim it'll be all nice and clean for us so stay tuned kitty cats are loving the garden already it's not done yet, but I bet you they probably won't ever leave when it is done. And it's got full blossom and greenery. Little Miss Luna thinks she's the boss. So they just go round and round on my garden boxes. You like Mama's garden, Luna? Like Mama's garden, you know? Pretty girl. Mew mew. Hi. Mwing, mwing. Oh, pretty girl. Thank you. You're a pretty girl, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Millie's our scaredy cat. She don't come outside very often. But she does enjoy it when it gets warm. Millie Millie. Hi pretty. She's a cautious, anxious cat. Always looking around. Scared. These kitties are meant for outside. These two. Or wild cats. You'd be nice, Luna. You're not getting in my bee house. You can't get up there. No, you can't. No, you can't. I'll make you a tree house, though. You want a tree house? You want a tree house in my garden? Make you some kitty perches? Pretty, pretty. Luna Moon. Luna. Luna. <laughs> Playing hide and seek. So many activities. So many places to play. Hi hey guys, today is day six of pool cleaning and today I'm going to be running the vacuum because I think my filter is done about as much as it can. Um, it is a lot more clear, you can see the bottom today, but you can also see a lot of debris that's stuck to the bottom. So I'm going to run my filter and see if we can't get this crystal clear today. So this is my little vacuum contraption and it just hooks up to my pump right here. So that's what I'll be doing.
So I brushed up and vacuumed up a lot of the stuff on the bottom. So now it's all stirred up, but I got my vacuum running over there. Um, I'm gonna try to keep just pushing all this debris over to my vacuum and filter area. And let it keep doing its thing, but now it kinda looks worse than it did, but that's to be expected because I just stirred everything up, so. Okay, so this is day six. I'm gonna keep on working. Hey guys, today is the Saturday before Memorial Day and it is my last pool cleaning day. So let me get you turned around here. And this is our water. It's been clear enough to see the bottom um, for probably a week now. I haven't really been out here a whole lot because the cover's been on and it's just been trying to heat up. But um, so the water is as clear as it's gonna get. And then today I'm just vacuuming up um, like all these uh, clumps of dirt stuck to the bottom. But as you can see, you can see all the way down to the bottom and I'm super happy about that. Um, maybe we'll be able to swim on Memorial Day. That would be awesome. Um, so I just want to show you this contraption I made real quick. So in order to get this stuff off the bottom, I attached some of my daughter's pantyhose and just rubber banded it around the, um, the spout where the water shoots out. And so I have my vacuum hooked up and these pantyhose are collecting sand. They're pretty much the best filter I have found. So if you can't collect all of the debris off the bottom and your normal filter just isn't working, maybe try the pantyhose method because it's working out for me. I just wanted to show you, see how these pantyhose are getting kind of big at the bottom. That means all of this is probably filled up. So I just want to show you what actually it is collecting. See how full those toes are? Okay. Look at how microscopic and it's getting sand. So what I'm gonna do is just turn these inside out. So I just turn them inside out, spray them off, and then put them back on and repeat. So. Oh, look at that. Okay. Yeah, you can tell once they are a little full, some dirty water will start kind of seeping out of these. So that's how you know to um, clean them out, spray them off, and start again. Great, so today will be the last day that I'm working on this. Just getting up all these clumps on the bottom and it should be perfect to swim in until, or well, it will be perfect to swim in when it gets warm enough. But right now it's sitting at about 70 degrees, so it's still kind of chilly. But I just wanted to make this video in case somebody else has some black water and they don't think it's savable. I am here to assure you that it is. So I hope everybody has a great Memorial Day weekend and God bless.